This is a spoiler warning. Spoilers. Hey guys, welcome back to another Fire Emblem Engage video. This game just came out a few weeks ago and I've been having a lot of fun. I finally have some time to sit down and play it. So if you haven't played the game, I'd probably recommend clicking off this video because I will be talking about some spoilers. I'm going to put it in the title, but hopefully if you've already made it this far, you have played the game and you are familiar with the chapter that I'm on, which is chapter 11. And if you've beaten this, you would know that it is kind of like a scripted loss. And you would know that to actually, air quotes, beat this chapter, you have to run away from the fight. Because Vale summons these four big bads known as the four hounds. And they're just like overpowered and revive twice. So I was wondering if I train up enough, if I could get strong enough to defeat them. So here we defeat Marnie, who has a high defense but low res. So our mages do quick work of her and take out the first hound. The entire run was about like 30 minutes long and four gigabytes of video. So I'm just going to upload the fights where I actually defeat the hounds. So if you want to see what it looks like when they get defeated, just watch the video. I'm just going to be showing them back to back. And here we defeat Grease, who is our second hound to go down in this fight. So at this point, it's going to start getting spicy because the hounds that are left are like right next to the worms and they are just huge stat checks, pretty much. I don't know how to say this guy's name. I think it's Mavier, but here we take him out and he will be our third hound to be defeated. So before we fight the last hound, I just included this clip of Anna because she gets laid out and I think it looks hilarious. She literally gets thrown back like a sack of potatoes. But anyway, so here's the fight with the last town. Once we take out Zephia, all that'll be left will be the worms and then we can go fight Vale. This may not come as a surprise to you, but it did to me when I got to her. You actually can't do damage to Vale. As you can see, it's just zeros across the board with any weapon. And I switch around with some characters to see if they can do damage. You can't. And even backup units, who seem to ignore all stat buffs and debuffs of all kinds and just do like a flat three damage, don't do anything to Veil. So unfortunately, you do have to escape. Yes. There is no way to beat this map otherwise because Veil vale doesn't take damage, which is odd that they gave her three revivals in the first place. But if you stayed here till the end, I appreciate it. Hopefully this is entertaining and you don't waste your time doing this like I did because I grinded for like two or three days to find out that I can't even win. So take it easy.